Is it good to hack your Wii in 2020? <laughs> you might, might as well ask, why is the tree good? Why is the sunset good? Why are boobs good? What's up guys, welcome back to Bring Me Joy-Con. Um, so I thought I would show you guys what a modded Wii can do in 2020. My uh, Should You Hack Your PS3 video got over 10,000 views and I was uh, pretty grateful for that. So, um, and I've been, the Wii was the first console I ever modded. So I thought, you know, because I love the Wii so much and, uh, and because I've been modding them for so long, I think I've done like 15 or 16 of them now. Um, just, you know, like 12 years now, I think I've been doing these and it's, it's what made me fall in love with modding and the modding community and, and all that. So, I thought I'd show you guys um, what a modded Wii is, is capable of. I see a lot of people in comments always asking, you know, can can it do this, can it do that on on these how-to mod um, videos. And so, like I did with the PS3 one, I'm just going to go through. So, um, first off, obviously you can install custom channels. Um, these are all games, so... Um, you can do emulators as well. There's Genesis, there's the NES, ScumVM, that's like all the point and click, uh, old point and click PC games. Um, Game Boy Advance, this emulator will play Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and original Game Boy, and then of course Super Nintendo. And I thought the, the menus are cool on this. You can install different menus, you can even make your own custom ones. I just use these ones because other people have made them already and they're out there on the internet to use and they're very cool. So the music's always a nice touch. Um, also Keza Manure, the uh, uh, very impressive N64 modder, created this game. The Legend of Zelda The Missing Link. This game's fantastic. I live streamed it not too long ago. Um, so go check that out. But this game's amazing. And he made a, a Wii a copy of it. So that's very cool. You can install that. Um, these are all just the standard ones. The reason there's no N64 emulator is because it it works, but it's not the best. And I find that Nintendo, for the most part, put all the good N64 games on here. I'm obviously missing a bunch. I only have uh, Mario 64 and Zelda. I, I redid my Wii not that long ago. I just wiped it clean and started over from scratch. So I'll probably add the N64 emulator at some point. There are certain games um, that aren't. There's Cruising USA. Um, but yeah, I just put kind of the, the most popular stuff I played when I was a kid on this main menu. And then... Uh, so, like, say you wanted to play a NES game. Sorry, I don't have the best tripod. I got it as straight as I could, but it's kind of broken. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so you got your NES games. All the good stuff. Um, you just turn your controller sideways and play it just like you would anything else. What button do you push? Start? Oh, there we go. I was just hitting the wrong button. So anyway, there you go. It's dangerous to go alone. So, and then if you want to quit, you just hit that. You can, you can even do uh, on the NES emulator. You can even do stuff like Duck Hunt um, using this thing. It's pretty cool. It's not the same experience, but it's you know it's the best experience you're gonna get on a 
modern television, so for those shooters. Um, and then, of course, probably what you guys have been waiting for is uh, this guy right here. So there's several different USB loader apps. I like this one. It's called Configurable USB Loader or CFG Loader if you're searching Google for it. Version 70R78.11 is what I use because it has the GameCube uh, support built into it. It's a little tricky to get GameCube running with with covers and stuff like this. So anyway, here's all my start over here and go this way. We got all kinds of good stuff. Bully. Burnout 2, Crazy Taxi. Now, I actually ripped these all from disc. I spent a long time, you know, like I said, over the last 12 years just collecting. And every time I bought a Wii from Goodwill, there'd be another game sitting in it. So, um, and another cool thing that we can do is it can actually play the arcade version of these games because the arcade games for the Mario Kart games actually had GameCubes inside them so this actually runs on the GameCube hardware which is very cool some uh, Mar new Mario Bros mods there Oregon Trail classic Thousand New Door of course Sonic Adventures and of course uh, these two that everybody's hyped about coming to the Switch. So, um, and I'm gonna be doing another video. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and and like and all that stuff. Like the video, um, because I'm gonna be doing another video. I'll probably do the PlayStation Classic, and I'll probably do the original Xbox. Should you hack your PlayStation Classic in 2020, and should you hack your Xbox in 2020? So, anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all that. Show you guys this guy running, and I've got the incredible Wavebirds. These are really expensive, you can only get them on eBay or, you know, pawn shops or whatever. Um, but they're the best, and, uh, I actually like to pick them up when they're damaged and like a lot of people don't know how to replace the thumbsticks and stuff so you can find some that are the sticks are just completely destroyed and they'll sell them cheap and then you can just buy a thumbstick for like two bucks on ebay and uh and replace those that's probably the best way to do it it's amazing how cheap people will sell things when they don't know anything about electronics sometimes people just give away electronics so, um, just because they don't know how to fix them, so. There was once a boy, oh, bumped it peacefully within the Hyrule Forest. But one day, the magical fairy Navi informed the boy of his destiny to save the kingdom of Hyrule from the great king of evil, Ganon. This game's actually super cool. I, it's, I think I, my playthrough took like six hours or something like that. Boy embarked on his quest for Hyrule. The cool thing about this is that no one's ever made a custom Zelda dungeon in a, a Ocarina of Time ROM hack. Uh, can I skip through this? Um, this one actually features a, a custom dungeon, and that's really never been done before in Ocarina of Time. There's been ROM hacks before, but none of them featured, like, full-length full dungeons and... Uh, the one in this is, is really, really good. It's, you know, the puzzle is to get into the next room and stuff are really well done. And I I think Kay's Emanuel did a fantastic job. So you guys should go check out his stuff. He's Normally he works on Mario 64 stuff. He's like the king of Mario 64 ROM hacks. He makes amazing stuff. Some of the best in the whole community. So and This is so well done. And this looks really good. If you play it on a, on a computer, the graphics are fantastic. Obviously, the, the Wii, you know, it's not going to have the best graphics. It still looks pretty good. 
I like the shield a lot. But, uh, yeah, it's amazing, so. Anyway, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, follow my Twitch if you guys like stuff like this. Because I've been streaming a ton. I know I'd, it's a lot of people like my other videos, but streaming to me is the most fun. Um, and I think I don't need that many more followers to become a Twitch affiliate, so... I've only been at Twitch for a couple weeks, so I'm not very big, but, yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know, you guys probably don't want to watch me sit here and play this, but that's, uh, that's how that works. I know I'm kind of jumping around a little bit. I was just excited to show off this Wii. I, I do a lot of Wii modding even for, for pretty cheap, just because I... I like, you know, my brother and my cousin and people like that to have dope Wii's, so. But I'll show you guys, uh, and you can use the GameCube controller on this screen, too. Keep bumping my tripod. So anyway, if you want to, so you want to play, like, Sunshine... And then it, it, you select the game, it boots itself into a program called Nintendont, which is what you use to run the GameCube games. So I like to launch them out of that other menu, because it, it just looks prettier. Because um, it has the cover art and stuff. You can launch Nintendont by itself, and just select out of a, a list of text which game you want to play. But I prefer the, the cover art and stuff, so I use CFG Loader. But there it is, so. And you don't actually need a, a memory card for this either. It, it creates a, a save on, on the uh, hard drive or USB drive, whatever you're using. There's a lot more stuff that can be done with a... Uh, we also, I mean, there's there's always new stuff being made, like, um, you know, like that ROM hack I showed you. There's stuff like that being done all the time, so. Back here. Hey, 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 hold still. You got a blue coin? There you go. What do you got? Blue coin? You saved me. Thanks a bundle. Oh, yeah. Game's amazing. Can't wait for the Switch version. It's going to be so good. Anyway, so thought I'd show you guys. Uh, yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe, and, uh, and I'll do more of this kind of stuff. If you want to see what a PSP can do, if you want to see what a PlayStation Classic can do, or an original Xbox, or, or whatever, um, let me know. Have a great day, guys.